Hello, my name is Sean Foray. I am the current district administrator for District 8S, and I am proudly a member of Kenner University Park Lions Club. Uh, I've been a member of Kenner University Park Lions since 2004. I'm a past cabinet secretary. Uh, as I said, I am the current district administrator. I'm a past club secretary, and I am a Melvin Jones Fellow. So, uh, for starters, if you do not already, uh, I would recommend that you go and follow our Lions District on Facebook, facebook.com slash 8s Lions. Um, you can also subscribe to our email mailing list. Uh, you can do that on 8slions.org. Uh, while we're on the topic of 8slions.org, I would encourage you to check out everything that we have there. Uh, we have a calendar, we have links to our newsletters, we have a lot more information available for you out there. Uh, and if you are a, a club in our district, Please let us know and we can add your events to the calendar so that everybody can see them. So today some of the things that we will cover are your responsibilities as secretary. Uh, we will also discuss recording your club's activities with Lions Clubs International via mylci.org. And also uh, we will discuss the My Lion app. While the My Lion app is still, I guess, in its development phases, uh, they're working on getting MyLion.org, the website part, up, as well as making it available to all of the hundred some odd languages that the Lions speak across the world. Um, it will become a key part of. Uh, recording your club's activities in the future and I'm pretty sure that they're going to be adding uh, the membership functions and pretty much moving all of the My LCI stuff over to the MyLion app and MyLion.org. So I think that it is key that we discuss the MyLion app within this training. So as your club secretary, some of the things that you will be responsible to do, uh, you have to maintain your club's roster and report membership changes to my LCI. Or to LCI. Um, you also uh, need to prepare your club's documents and agendas for uh, any club meetings or activities. And you should record meetings uh, at all business proceedings, whether they be meetings or uh, teleconferences or what have you. Um, you also should keep file of all pertinent records for the club. Um, this would include any kind of uh, club correspondence, copies of past meeting uh, agendas, and any other uh, necessary documentation for your club. Um, manage club correspondence. Um, uh, any kind of mailings that your club should receive, whether they be via traditional mail or email, uh, you should be receiving them and uh, you should ensure that all in your club are aware of said correspondences, whether they be at your club's meetings or uh, ahead of time, you know, forwarding emails and whatnot to your club for review. Um, secretary's duties. Uh, additionally, you are uh, asked to attend and participate in your zone, district, and district charities meetings. Um, if you're not a member of District 8S, uh, I'm not 100% if all districts have this, but uh, in our district in particular, we have a uh, what we call District 8S Charities, so that any kind of projects which may uh, require funding of multiple clubs, 
we usually put those uh, fundraisers and you know fun collections going through our uh, district charities uh, events. Um, additionally, you should report your club's activity uh, to not only your district officers but to Lions Club International. Um, the reason that it's so important that we know what your club is doing is so that we can help justify uh, some of the great things that Lions do. Um, if you know, one of the things that I always hear about Lions is that uh, it's one of the best kept secrets that so many clubs do great things and don't tell anyone about it. Well, you know, while uh, we don't necessarily need to go marching and trumpeting every time that we do something, it's nice to be able to tell everybody the great things that your club does. Um, additionally, you are required to record your club's PU-101. Uh, what a PU-101 is, is um, when your club holds elections um, or if there are officer changes throughout the year, whether an, uh, an officer resigns or uh, no longer can fulfill their duties, what have you, uh, you would be uh, responsible to uh, inform Lions International of those officer changes. Um, lastly, you would turn over all pertinent records to the next secretary. Uh, if your term is one year or two years or however many years that you may be your club secretary, uh, at the end you would hand over those records to the next one. So it's very important that you know your club's constitution and bylaws. Um, as club secretary, uh, you should know the club's rules for motions, nominations, and other club business to take place. So if your club uh, requires a certain percentage of uh, people to be on hand for a meeting to have quorum, or if uh, your club requires X amount of people uh, to vote for a motion to go through, uh, you should know those rules and be able to declare whether or not a motion can be uh, admitted to the, uh, the club's proceedings. Um, you should be familiar with Robert's Rules of Order. Uh, if you are not familiar with Robert's Rules of Order, uh, Robert was a, uh, I believe, a general um, in the 1800s, and uh, he created a list of rules related to motions and tabling motions and uh, the general rules of order for a meeting to take place. Um, these uh, rules have been generally accepted not only in like Congress and uh, things of that order, but also in many uh, nonprofit organizations and community organizations. Um, you should also, I would strongly recommend, ensure that your constitution and bylaws allows business to take place in a non-physical manner. Um, I know a lot of clubs have a uh, constitution and bylaws, which may be uh, created many years ago. Well, with the uh, internet age um, being well on our heels, and uh, I'd say almost uh, to the point where they are common life, uh, it's important to ensure that uh, your club is not hampered by the ability to uh, conduct your business not only uh, in a physical meeting but also in an online manner um, especially down here in District 8S where a lot of the times uh, we could be threatened by major hurricanes or tropical storms 
and your club could be displaced or just unavailable to meet. Uh, I'd say that it's important that uh, your club still can hold business uh, on a teleconference or online, you know, via email or chat or something of that nature to ensure that if there's an emergency need for your club, your club can be there. So using my LCI, um, currently the my, L my LCI website is the sole way to update your club's activities uh, or report your club's activities with Lions International. Um, again, with my Lion in the works, uh, they are expecting to move the uh, club activity reporting over to my lion once it is 100% functional um, and I would also assume that membership would move over to there and a lot of the uh, club functions so uh, uh, we will discuss that after my LCI Now I'm going to show you how to uh, update your activities in and to uh, report club changes, etc. to Lions International via my LCI. You start off by going to lionsclubs.org and you click my LCI up top. And here you would log in. If you are a new secretary, uh, you should have received an email with your login information, um, with your, your member number, as well as some sort of temporary password to allow you to log in. You can also uh, register down here. Um, if you're having issues with getting into it, uh, if you're in my district, please reach out to me. Uh, I'll have a slide at the end of this with my contact information so that you can reach out to me. Um, I'll additionally have some links and stuff within the comments uh, or within the description on YouTube for this training. So I'm going to log in. And I am not actually a club secretary right now. So I do not have club secretary rights uh, as just one secretary would, but I am my district administrator. So if you are more than just a club officer, if you're a district officer, you'll see up top here right now, it sees me as the district information technology chairperson. I'm going to go and select a different title. And I am actually going to select the admin role, which uh, the admin role gives me secretary rights to any club. Uh, so if for whatever reason you're unable to log in properly, I can report a membership change, etc. So uh, I'm going to select under My Lions Club, you can select Members, and here uh, you should be able to see your club's role, or your club's roster, rather. If you have new members that you'd like to report, uh, you can click Add Member, or the pull-down here allows you to select which type of member they are. Whether they're a brand new member, never been a member of Lions Club, or if they're a returning member, let's say they took a few years off from Lionism, or if they're transferring over from another club. So you would select the appropriate function, and if it's a new member, you would fill out the form here 
one thing I would strongly recommend is make sure that you have the correct email address for uh, your Lions in Lions Clubs that are in uh, my LCI. The main reason being is that my Lion is attached to uh, the registered email for a person. So if a person goes to log in to my uh, my Lion, they're going to need to know which email uh, they're associated with in uh, with Lions International, so that it will associate their login correctly, even if they have the member ID. So you would fill out this and then click Save. Since I actually don't have a member that I'm adding, I am just going to go back and click Cancel. And if it was a returning member, You can simply do a search for that person. And it would bring up anyone who fills in that criteria. Additionally, if you have no uh, membership changes to report, you can uh, select whichever month appropriate and just click that month and it'll report it. Related to the roster. There's several reports that you can print out including club attendance sheets if you want to keep roll at all of your meetings. Um, you can also see which months you reported your club activity. You can print out a club roster and also you can print out a contact list or uh, get a contact list of your district officers as well as just your Lions Club's officers. Uh, I'd recommend that if you haven't done so already, go check out what those reports do offer you. Uh, I find it pretty useful. Additionally, you can print out membership cards. If you use the pre-printed business cards that you can buy at uh, your office supply store. Uh, you can select how many of the cards are on there and uh, the appropriate dimensions, etc. and select which members you want to create a membership card for. I'm just selecting a handful. If you wanted, you could select all and then click print cards and it will print them up again perfect to fit on the pre-printed or the pre-punched business cards that you can pick up anywhere. So your service activities. Um, for starters, we're going to talk about signature service activities. Let's say your club has an event that you do every month. For instance, my club holds a regular fundraiser bingo you can create a signature event for that activity so that when you're reporting it will uh, ease your reporting activity. 
you can also uh, using your service at your signature service activities once it brings it all up if you want you can put more information in now one thing I will point out about some of these signature service activities that I see here is that we don't have a whole lot of description in there while that is fine and dandy I think ultimately uh, Lions International would like to see us be able to give a little bit more meat of a story about some of the great things that we do. So um, once you do see or once you do use a signature service activity I would definitely uh, embellish on the the story behind it so that uh, if possible, you can, uh, they can create a little article about it. So, we're going to go to service activities now. And we're going to add an activity. First thing that you would do is make sure that you're in the right fiscal year. And I'm going to select the fourth and if uh, it was one of my signature activities that I was reporting I would select this uh, I would select the appropriate event but it was not one of our signature activities so you'd select the type and you can go in and select a different event so this was a leadership seminar that I'm going to report here. And I believe we had 11 members attended our district. leadership seminar we learned officer responsibilities and enjoyed fellowship with fellow lions so I'm going to select my 11 members and uh, it was an eight hour day, so eight hour, 88 Lions hours. Um, if I had pictures of the event, um, which I can easily go into Facebook, and just as a example, I want to download that as the picture, browse. <clears throat> and I'm going to select that as my event picture. If you have multiple pictures, the more the merrier. And I would click save. And that event is saved. Now, one thing you will notice is you can select to share this story, which means that it shares the story with uh, Lions International and lets them know, hey, this might be a article-worthy story. And you can also let everyone know that this was a district-wide activity by selecting the checkbox. So I did not do that on the last one. So I'm going to Service Activities. And I'm going to edit that activity. I'm going to select district wide activity. And click save. <laughs> so you can continue to add all of your service activities as necessary. That's the only one that I'm going to report at this time. 
and once I'm done you can view and print your activities report which you would then be able to additionally download and then email to your district officers once everything was said and done. Additionally, you can set some service activity goals for your club. So you can say service activities. We want to focus on the diabetes. And we want all 37, I believe, members of my club to participate. And we want to give 370 hours altogether. Every, every line should give 10 hours. So now we can go to service activity goals. And we'll see that goal which is in place. And you can add additional object objectives. You can edit this objective if uh, maybe 370 hours was too much. Or if you just put it in all together wrong, you can delete an objective or delete the goal. I like this goal. So I'm going to leave it for my club. And I will bring up a motion for it at my club to ensure that everyone does participate in that goal. Additionally, you can pull up statements of dues. and print them out accordingly. So this shows that my club currently has a credit of about $700 with Lions International. And you want to make sure that you work with your club treasurer to ensure that all of your club ex, uh, club debts to Lions International are paid in full by the end of the Lions year. This is important because if your club does not have uh, all debts covered, your club by uh, our district's constitution and bylaws cannot vote at our, di our state uh, convention or at international convention. So please, I ensure you or I encourage you to make sure that you and your uh, club treasurer are aware of what debts your club may have. You can also opt in or out for paper statements to ensure that you're getting the, uh, the information. And lastly, within Lions International, even if you are not a district officer, you should be able to view uh, your club, your district officers, your, where your different district convention is, um, as well as uh, your multiple district. You should be able to see your officers and uh, all that information. Um, again, at the end, I will leave uh, contact information. So if you do have any kind of questions, 
related to my LCI, you can uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I will also mention to you that as you see right here, that uh, I have a dashboard. Um, this should show you all of your information uh, or all of the tasks that you have pending for you and give you all of the needed information related to your club and your district. So a lot of these things that I showed you up in the menus, if you check out this uh, dashboard here, you'll find a lot of it. So stay tuned. We'll be back with more related to the My Lion app. So this is going to be the training about the My Lion app. Um, I have my phone synced up to my computer so you can see my phone screen. So as you can see, I have the My Lion app already installed on my computer. Um, if you are on my phone, if you do not have it, you can go to, uh, if you're on Android, the Play Store. And type in My Lion. And there it is. And where it says uninstall would say install. So, and with the uh, Apple devices, it's similar. You go to the App Store and you would download My Lion app. So, I'm going to go ahead and open the My Lion app. I'm already logged in. So, for the sake of those logging in for the first time, I will go ahead and log out. Now, if you have never registered for My Lion, uh, you will need to register. Just because you are registered on My LCI does not mean that you are registered for My Lion. Um, they are two separate entities. Um, however, the email attached to your membership with my LCI is associated to my lion so make sure that your club members have uh, the correct email address in at my at uh, Lions International so if you've never logged in you would click register and if you notice there is a guest option if you are not a lion you can still log in to my, uh, the My Lion app and see what great activities are going on in your area. If you are a Lions member, uh, it's strongly encouraged that all Lions members sign up for the My Lion app and use it. The main reason being is this will take over for the reporting aspect of Lions International uh, somewhere in the future. And for any member of your club to have the ability to update will ease the reporting process for your club secretary. Um, this also makes it uh, uh, easier for those little projects where, let's say, for instance, you have two lions in your club that may not be officers, but they are... Uh, members of your club and every week they go and volunteer at a hospital or at an old folks home or a school or something of that nature that those lines would then be able to create an activity and share it to where hopefully either more lines would be able to come and help participate or uh, just help and spread the word about the great things that our clubs do. So since uh, if you've never registered, as a Lions member, you will need your member ID. So club secretaries, make sure that you have a copy of your club roster printed out so that your 
or available to you so that your club members can get the club uh, or their membership IDs. You want to encourage everybody uh, to sign up for it. I would even recommend take 10 minutes of your meeting one evening or afternoon whenever you hold your meetings. Take a few minutes and encourage everyone to download and register for the MyLion app. Since I am already registered, I'm going to go ahead and log in. So the first page that it brings you up to is your activities. You can go and check out your news feed, where your news feed, similar to a Facebook or a social media, uh, you can see what all of the lines that you are friends with are doing and reporting about. So I would recommend that if you already do not uh, have it, go ahead and get it and you know update with some of the great things that your club does. So you can follow different lions and clubs. So for instance, here I see activities that are going on and I've been told that if you open up the, act, the uh, app when you are in another area it will show the activities that are nearby to you to where you can then hopefully go and participate with lions in that area if you're out on vacation or something so additionally you can go find different members this is showing me a list of I guess more recent uh, registries, but if you're looking for a particular person, so for instance, um, my first vice district governor right now. It's the great line Willis Luke. And if I wasn't following him already, this button right here would show, follow, uh, would give me the option to follow him. As you can see, I can send him a message. And I can also go and then view his club so I can get a better idea of what his club, you know, get some more information about what his club does. Not, you know, here it's showing their meetings, uh, when their meetings are. You can also view the district. And up here, now I can see the club officers for the district. And it's allowing me to follow all of these people already. And I can go in and view the individual clubs for that district. So some of the other options. Here's the activity screen. This shows a couple of the activities that I have attended. Uh, and I can go in and let's say I wanted to give a review of the leadership development seminar, which was just last weekend. I 
I can click right. And now I should be able to click save. And the organizers of this event would then be able to see my review of the event. Additionally, I could message the organizers of the event or I could share the event on Facebook or add it to a calendar. So additionally, I can create an event. So we're going to go in and oops. We're going to do a fundraiser. Since it doesn't have a particular cause that it's uh, directed towards, we'll leave it as other. And in place here, we can put in, you can use the, basically the Google Maps names which are saved. You can use them to enter the location that you're trying to go to or trying to report. So. Uh, this event is at the Lions Bingo Hall on Airline Drive. And Give us a little description. Bingo, where events can where uh, proceeds go towards our. Lions State Projects and our club's individual service projects. Okay, we want everyone to be able to see this. And we'll set it to where any Lion or Leo can join. And we will click Proceed. And I can invite members, so in this instance, I could invite my entire club. And you'll see all of the members get invited there. And once I click Proceed, the event will be posted. Now that the event's created, I can go in and this is just one of the generic uh, pictures that they have to offer. So if I wanted, I could go into my phone's pictures 
and upload a picture. Or if I wanted to edit any of this information, I could. And once I was done, I could click Save. Once I'm done, I can then tell everyone that I'm going. by clicking the going and the following and if I wanted to share it for instance if I wanted to share it on my Facebook I can click share to Facebook and it'll post it I can share it to anyone <laughs> and click done and you can see it puts a hashtag of my line in there It's now posted to my Facebook. As the co-organizer of the event, I can add other co-organizers so that they can log in. Or when they log in, they can see some of the reviews of what people thought about the event so that uh, if there's things that we need to change we can do so so we can Add a picture and click share. And that picture is now added into the story of that event. Lastly, here under the user profile you can go and give a little bit more information about yourself if you want you could instantly donate to LCIF and you can even select which thing you want it to go towards. And then it would ask you for whatever uh, payment information that you were trying to do. One other thing on your user profile that I kind of like is they give you badges to help uh, give you incentive to do more with the application. Um, for instance, uh, if you were one of the first people to uh, download the app, you received the early adopter badge. Or if uh, you earned, if you did different functions or different uh, goals with it you get different badges now one thing that I would encourage is one of the some of the badges that seem to be pretty easy are to follow different people within lions or people and activities and clubs <coughs> and additionally uh, there are 
uh, activities that you can do on here like creating activities and also getting your club to join to all join so check out the different badges that you can do and I'd encourage you to even challenge yourself to try and achieve the gold status on uh, some of the badges here uh, they definitely will help you to be more active with lionism and encourage you to use the app more so that is all of the information that I have for you here uh, again please check out the description below I'll have links to some useful information um, including secretary uh, guides as well as uh, links to Robert's Rules of Order and other information discussed within this presentation. Uh, if you do have further questions, please comment below or feel free to reach out to me. You can reach out to me via email. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions any way that I can. Uh, I hope that you have a great Lions year and thank you.